Hey guys, so yesterday Apple released iOS 11 in WWDC 2017 and we as developers tested it out and here is our initial review. So the first thing I want to talk about right now is what all we saw that has changed in the first release. We saw redesigned signal bars, a new option called Smart Invert which is similar to invert colors from the previous versions of iOS. In the camera app we saw some new live filters along with live photo effects. Then we move on to the redesigned app store. If you have used Apple Music before this is much similar to that and we truly like the new redesign. The next thing I want to talk about right now is the new redesigned control center. So the control center has been redesigned multiple times until iOS 11 starting from iOS 7. Some really great additions to the control center which we saw were the cellular data toggle. Now some of us needed this option so much that we ended up jailbreaking our phones but now we have it by default. Another thing I want to tell you guys about is the recording you're seeing right now is not recorded via a quick time player over the Mac but this iPhone is recording directly itself and how to enable that option is from the red donut shaped icon on the control center. Moving on to the next topic, we saw the new redesigned calculator and the dialer apps but we really didn't like these because the circular design made the button smaller and on the bigger screen it is more difficult to use it right now. Something new is the lock screen and notification center. For people who don't know, it's now the same thing. So basically when you unlock the phone, the notification center slash lock screen goes in the upwards direction and you can see your home screen. Also one great thing about the control center we saw was it was completely completely customizable. We also saw a redesigned messages drawer for apps and other sticker apps. The next thing we saw is very helpful for people with small hands who write tweets on a big screen phone. We are talking about the one handed operation on the iPhone. Another thing we saw is the redesigned storage indicator. Unlike previous versions, this gives a better idea of how much space is remaining and how much is being used. Also another great thing we saw is the screenshot functionality. What that means is when you take a screenshot, it appears in the lower left corner of the screen and you can just tap on it, edit it using tools like crop, markup, etc. and share it from there itself. Earlier you used to open the photos app, go to the screenshots folder, edit it and send it from there. Now it will be much faster. Another thing we noticed is the new switcher design. The home is no longer visible as it was in iOS 10 and earlier versions. We also discovered a lot of bugs in iOS 11's first beta. So let's discuss some of them. Auto brightness is broken on the iPhone. Opening third party apps take a usually long time for some reason. The clear all button does not show up in the notification center when swiped down from the home screen. Sharing functionality is currently broken in the messages app. The redesigned app drawer in the messages app does not allow one to disable apps. The old app store icon still appears in the settings menu. Ad blockers are not working in mobile safari. The music widget on the lock screen does not update itself automatically. Battery widget is displayed even if no bluetooth devices are connected. Switch to FaceTime camera in camera app is currently broken. To receive app updates one must kill the app store manually by swiping up from the app switcher. The dock cover the night shift toggle on the iPad in landscape mode. The 3D touch functionality is partially broken in the app switcher. Messages to the cloud feature will take a few tries to work properly. Restoring data from an iCloud backup might not work properly as a proper list of iCloud backups will not be shown the first time around. Bluetooth toggle in control center incorrectly shows being off even if Bluetooth is on. Ironically, the feedback app to report bugs is not working properly as well. Also, iPhone SE users are reporting that using the iPhone app while on a call freezes the device completely. Video playback in Amazon's Prime Video app might be partially broken. The third party keyboard apps are currently unstable on iOS 11 and crash if not given full access. So that's all we have for you guys in this video. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more such videos. This is Shivam for Dark Army and catch you guys in the next one.